Hector Clemente, San Juan, Puerto Rico, the home of today's FIBA World Cup America's qualifier. It is the second round here in Group F. And we have action live and direct with you basketball fans all around the world. USA taking on Colombia this evening, 7 o'clock local time. Puerto Rico versus Uruguay, that's where we are. And of course, Brazil are also in action today. Exciting matchup for you, ladies and gents. Just make sure you're checking in at FIBA WC on social media, hashtag FIBA WC. There's the standings at this moment in time. Uruguay, Puerto Rico, fourth and fifth respectively. Same record, five and four. And we are getting ready for the player introductions on both teams. Now, of course, these guys have most recently met in Montevideo in Uruguay. And it was Uruguay that came out as winners. 78 to 70 behind, 25 points from Jason Granger and 80 points from Rina, Bruno Fitaldo. But of course, Puerto Rico star-studded lineup will be making a statement tonight as they get ready to take on Uruguay on their home court. The arena's filling up, the crowd is ready to go. The last matchup, Alfonso Plummer had 20. Tremont Waters had 14 points, Justin Reyes with 15 points. And as you can see, the roster getting ready to step onto the floor. Tip-off is at 10 past 8, 8, 10 p.m. Wherever you're watching around the world, enjoy this contest. And let's enjoy the evening. Remember, top three teams from each group go through, as well as the best record fourth team. Those are the ones that will qualify for the FIBA World Cup 2023. You're going to have a chance to qualify. But Puerto Rico will be standing in the way, and now it's time for the national anthems. And there's the anthems done. Incredible atmosphere in the arena. Now, please, we'll be having a moment's silence. Is done. Both teams will shake hands and get ready to get this game underway. 
Puerto Rico and Uruguay have faced each other three times previously in the World Cup qualifiers. And each time the home team won. Those games ended with a single digit margin between them. So we're looking forward to a competitive game today. Those are your officials from Panama, Julio Anaya, Ecuador, Christian Paez, and Canada, Wasim Husseini. The officials for today's contest. Puerto Rico, they've won eight of their nine home games in the World Cup qualifiers. And as you can see with the magnificent crowd and home arena, it really plays to their advantage. Uruguay have alternated between wins and defeats in their last eight games in the World Cup qualifiers, losing the most recent one against Mexico by 20 points. They've lost six of their last seven away games in the competition. They don't travel particularly well, but there's always room for change. And it was 20 points for Esteban Batista. The veteran from Uruguay against Mexico, 6'10", 39-year-old center from Olympia. And there is the starting five, including Batista. Number 11, Jason Granger. Number 10, Emiliano Ceres. Number 6, Bruno Fittipaldo. And number 1, Gonzalo Iglesias. Their coach, Mr. Magnano, is in charge of Uruguay tonight. Now, let's take a look at the starting lineup for Puerto Rico. Some star studded talent in their roster. And they'll be looking forward to using that at their disposal this evening in front of the home crowd. Tremont Waters scored more than 20 points and made exactly six assists in each of his previous home games in the World Cup qualifiers. Got six steals against Colombia, the most for a play in the World Cup 2023 qualifiers game in the Americas. But don't forget, all of the action live courtside 1891. Tell a friend to tell a friend to lock in, tune in for tonight's contest between Puerto Rico and Uruguay. 22nd ranked in the world, Puerto Rico. And 45th ranked Uruguay. There's the starting five for Puerto Rico. Number one, George Condit. Number 12, Aline Ford. Number 24, Gian Clevel. And number 32, Christopher Ortiz. And there he is, number 51, Tremon Waters. Currently applying his trade. 5'3", 24-year-old point guard from Level 1 Metropolitans. There's the head coach of Puerto Rico too. Don't forget to share your thoughts on tonight's action. Hashtag FIBA, FIBA WC. Here at the Coliseo, Roberto Clemente, San Juan, Puerto Rico. And the crowd is getting going as the announcer starts to G them up. Well, Ethan Thompson is also on the bench this evening. Currently playing for the Windy City Bulls in the G League, 18 points per game. He's really doing a great job at this moment and will be great off the bench for Puerto Rico this evening. Don't forget, you can also keep up to date with all the live stats and more by the FIBA World Cup app. All the stats, latest information and news at your fingertips. Make sure you download the app now. As mentioned, there are other games taking place. Mexico, Brazil, USA, Colombia. USA, Colombia is underway. 19-10 the score there in quarter one with four minutes and seven seconds remaining. The starting fives are making their way onto the floor here. We're getting the handshakes underway. All the sportsmanship is done and dusted when those hands are shaken, and that ball gets tipped up.
Once again, a reminder of those starting fives. Gian Clavel, number 24, number one. George Conde, number 12. Aline Ford, number 32. Christopher Ortiz, and number 51. Trevor Watson, and Puerto Rico. For Uruguay, Esteban Batista, Bruno Fittipaldo. Number 11, Jason Granger. Number one, Gonzalo Iglesias. And number 10, Emiliano Serres. Here we go. Batista and George Condit will get ready for the tip. And Uruguay will help us get this game underway. The FIBA World Cup Americas qualifiers. There's a kick ball violation, end line ball. Now for Uruguay, Batista trying to find a teammate with a bounce pass along the baseline. He's only done the warm up, already bending over, looked like he's tired. But I'm sure it's his way of conserving energy. He's a very experienced man. We're helping Uruguay to do their best this evening. Turnover. Puerto Rico ball. Waters will command the first offense. And to the left hand side. Ortiz. Baseline cut to the opposite side. Does find. Clavel inside up strong going for the first points of the game and a foul is called dipping his shoulder George Condit draws the contact and he will head to the free throw line Serres first personal foul of the game and there is the first points of the game Averaging 4 point, or 5.4 points per game, 5.8 rebounds per game at the moment in the FIBA World Cup qualifiers. No major stat line for Ortiz, but here's the steal now, pushing forward. Intercepted by Uruguay. Pull up, no good, rebounded underneath the basket. But he's that too strong. Knocked away, collected. Waters, and a foul is called as Puerto Rico are pushing in transition. Granger called for his first personal. He's really been one of the lead contributors. For Uruguay so far in the World Cup qualifies 14, eight points per game for him. And back to the action. Here's Waters trying to turn the corner here, and the foul is called again. Another foul for Uruguay, stacking him up early on. It's only a minute and a half played almost. Fiti Paolo notches up a foul. Three team fouls. Uruguay need to be careful very early on in this contest. Waters goes off the glass. Rebounded by Batista. <laughs> Shoving off the defender. And here's Granger. Goes to the float, off the glass and in. Throwing it up, Jason Granger for his first two points of the game. Currently playing his basketball in Italy. Oh, ankle breaker! See you later! Sit down when I'm talking to you! Aleem Ford sitting down, his defender teaching him a thing or two. I like the way this game is starting. The crowd like it too. Triple in the corner, no good. Fight for the rebound. Collected by Kundit. Waters turns on the banners. Trey more Waters. Keeping that energy flowing. Granger. 
Batista back to basket to the left hand bulldozering his way underneath the bucket now into the corner again three ball it's no good for Clavel Bounce pass to the corner from Granger. Three ball is good in the corner. Gonzalo Iglesias knocking down his first triple of the game. Man to man defense and Puerto Rico running for the offense. Down screen from Condit. Finds his teammate open, can't knock down the shot. Ranger. Hops to slow things down as well. Batista finds a little bit of room inside. Now space to kick it out. Iglesias again. Back to back triples for him. Batista just drew in the defenders. They know what he's capable of inside. Iglesias wide open on the three. Tremont Waters now. Beautiful right handed pass to Ortiz on the wing. And that's out of bounds. Sideline ball for Uruguay. And now the ball into the hands of Fittipaldo. It's the back of the hand of Granger rising off the screen from Iglesias. Almost got a one-on-one -on -one situation here. Defenders close the gap a bit off the ball. Granger still in possession. Pump fake, kick, triple, another one. Three triples on the bounce. Bruno Fittipaldo. Chipping in. Got to get out to these shooters. Iglesias. Fighting for the steal, just about kept alive. Ford, he'll pull up for three, and that's no good. Uruguay really disruptive on defense. Forcing Puerto Rico to take shots they might not want to take. Here it is, another look at that bounce pass into the corner to Iglesias. Granger with the no look. Is Granger coming along the baseline now? He'll pull up for a three. Finally, Uruguay miss. The rebound is good for Mr. Ortiz. Ortiz, oh, beautiful handles. He gets himself inside the paint, and that's deflected out of bounds. Should be on the baseline now for Puerto Rico. Nice pass, wide open. Give me that. Easy money. And Liam Ford throwing it down. The foul is called off the ball here. Aline Ford, wide open. Great play drawn up by a head coach, Nelson Santiago. And substitution now, checking into the game. A big round of applause. Ismael Romero checking in, averaging 10.5. And 6.5 rebounds so far. The World Cup qualifiers, important piece of the Magnificos Los Galos. Sideline ball here for Uruguay. Granger to inbound. And the floor wipe is being called back out onto the floor. Already so early on, diving on the floor. 
hustle place. That's what we love about this beautiful game. And finally get the ball back into play. Here's Batista at the top. Hand off Fittipaldo. Back inside Batista goes off. Wow, that boy big. And uh, out of bounds is called. Emiliano Celes along the baseline. And there it is, just his left foot. He makes his way to the basket, but let's talk about Batista. Absolute unit. Bouncing off defenders. Waters hole. Put him on skates. Not quite the finish they were expecting. Fittipaldo, beautiful pass into the basket. Thrown up under the hoop by Ceres. Saw both defenders fly above him. Looked to draw the contact. Was facing backwards, threw it up. Knew he'd get the two shots was... Would have been appreciative if he got the circus shot to fall. Look at this pass though. Oh. No defenders knew where he was, no communication. No location. Serres heads to the free throw line. Stephen Thompson Jr. has checked into the game for Puerto Rico. Playing for Becker of the Bayamon. This moment in time. 25 year old. Shot goes up, basket will count. I believe one of the Puerto Rico players stepped in too early, but basket was good. Uruguay get the ball back into play. Left-hand side with Granger, Batista sees the bucket. Only one result. Left-hand lay, good for two. Eight to 17, the score. Uruguay not really placing a foot wrong here so far in the first quarter, just under three minutes remaining. Thompson Jr. out to a lean forward. Tremont Waters. Has to let it go, wow, from deep. Batista comes up with a rebound, it was almost good. I mentioned earlier, Stephen Thompson Jr. actually. Currently playing. Sells Reggio Emilia as well. This was his 21 22 season in Italy. That's a rebound now for Uruguay. And I think Uruguay have done a great job early getting this game at their pace. Granger for three, drills it, knocks it down, and that forces a timeout from head coach Santiago. He'll want to talk it over. Uruguay really taking control of this game early doors. Really playing they want the way they want to play. And Coach Manana will be very appreciative of his team's efforts. And they're shooting the lights out early doors. Four for eight. Let's hear from head coach Santiago. Everybody, move, 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 and move. Right, get it, get 
That was great insight there. Coach calling for more movement on offense. Totally agree with that. And then defensively, teammates suggesting that they are overhelping, allowing open shooters to get their looks. And you can't disagree with that either. Coach Santiago wanted them to recover quickly, to get out and contest those shots, try and make some tough contested shots for Uruguay earn the possession back and then play the way they play on offense let the team step back onto the floor here staggered at the top waters along the baseline and a travel violation has been called In fact, it was an offensive foul on Ismael Romero. Javier Mojica checking into the game for his first taste of this clash. Granger. Nice hands there from Waters. And a backcourt violation call. Uruguay still in control of possession. And they've earned it back. Coach Santiago will be very pleased with that. Rotation. Ortiz to the crossover, to the spin, to the left hand. And the foul is called. Late night salsa with the defender. Couldn't get the finish to go, but chance on the free throw line. Left, spin. Just short of the finish. Checking into the game now, number 22. Shadow Fernandez. Atleticos de San Germán. This is his current club, 28-year-old point guard. As Ortiz takes Puerto Rico to double digits. Fernandez applying the pressure. This is much better from Puerto Rico. Ranger trying to find the open man, and he is wide open, but can't get the finish. And a foul is called there. There will be a push in the back foul. Kirill Washman into the game. Serres couldn't convert. Referee calls a foul. Washman hits the deck. Granger to Tepaldo. Great screen there from Washman. Can't complete the pick and roll action. Ortiz. Mojica. Up strong, and the finish through the contact, Ismael Romero, his first points of the game. Clock winding down, three seconds on it, Granger, oh, on the money! Jason Granger with the dagger right before the end of the first quarter. 
12 to 23 the score and a commanding and convincing performance here from Uruguay early on they about the business tonight and Puerto Rico on home soil have got some work to do for the many thousands of fans in the arena brilliant performance from Uruguay so far Granger with eight points personal three assists two for three from downtown and as you can see there five for ten Uruguay overall from behind the arc Puerto Rico yet to hit one and they've got to improve on that otherwise it's going to be a very long night let's take a look at the best plays from the first quarter here is Tremont Waters he's been brilliant in terms of his handles so far there's that no look past the Granger from Granger should I say to Iglesias inside Batista and back out and this was before of course the timeout where head coach Santiago was talking to his team about their defensive efforts not recovering quick enough but of course Puerto Rico have had their moments to lean forward with that big jam the man mountain Batista making big plays also there he is Mr Granger the lead scorer in this game no break for him full 10 minutes in the first quarter as well Make sure you download the app, Courtside1891, for the stream schedules and scores. You want to know what's going down in the FIBA World Cup America's qualifiers? That's the place to go. Scan the QR code on the screen. Santiago. Quick conversation with the referee. Help build the relationship throughout the match. Try and get some calls to go his way. And let's get this second quarter back into action. Puerto Rico possession starting us off, and in possession of the ball is Stephen Thompson Jr. Finds Ortiz. And up at the top to Mojica. Three ball now. It's money. Thompson Jr. breaks the three point spell. And Puerto Rico. Hopefully we'll start this second quarter as they mean to go on. Fittipaldo. Almost possession lost, he was knocked away. Gets it back over Granger. He'll pull up for three in transition. No good for him. Thompson Jr. is going to go all the way. Right hand scoop into the bucket for two. And the lead cut down to five, just like that. Foul is called. There's that triple. Stephen Thompson Jr. turning it on. Give me the rock. Let me go to work. Rojas to inbound. Granger with the backdoor cut. Miscommunication. Turnover. Could not connect. Big play now from Puerto Rico. Oh, head coach Manana on the court. Not happy with that last possession. Ortiz. Romero kicks it out. Thompson Jr. for three. Wow. Eight consecutive points. And a three point game. Steven Thompson Jr. is on fire. 
Washman stolen away again. Puerto Rico with another opportunity. Oh, and a big foul there. Crowd on their feet. They don't like that one. Everybody calling for the unsportsmanlike. Hit hard. There's the crowd reaction to Thompson Jr.'s performance. Quick team huddle. Fitti Paolo with his second personal. And now Ortiz is on the free throw line. There's one. And there is two. One point game. I told you early doors, history and statistics say this one's going to be a tasty, close encounter. Granger can't run his defender off the screen. Batista slips through the gap, back to basket, stripped away once again. Mojica, big rebound. Ortiz tries to follow up with the putback to no avail. Granger and the foul is called there as Ortiz reaches around the back. Yes, this is basketball, we love it. The energy is incredible. The intensity is right there. Granger calling for the unsportsmanlike. Substitutions checking into the game. Condit back in. Fittipaldo, offensive foul called. Batista. Using his size to a disadvantage in that situation. Moving on the screen. Trying to hit the target, trying to hit the defender. Referee points for the play to go the other way. Offensive foul on the other side of the floor now. Referees crowded by the players. Let's have a look at that. Romero dipping the shoulder, Granger, he was there in time. And he heads to the bench and Aleem Ford will replace him. Granger. Foul is called now. I think a double foul has been called. Oh, yeah, the trash talk now. Condit and Granger getting into it. Puerto Rico now in team foul trouble. Seven minutes, seven on the clock. Rodriguez. Batista, back to basket. Poor pass out to Iglesias. And Puerto Rico once again win the ball back. Here's the drive baseline. Floater, right hand, rolls out the rim. Transition now for Uruguay. Granger, one pass ahead. 
Iglesias goes to set the screen now, trying to seal his defender. Batista slips through the gap again, under pressure. Once again, Puerto Rico coming up with the ball to the right hand. And there's the finish. Good to go. And the timeout is called Condit. Conjuring up the energy from the crowd. Getting them going. And what a turnaround from Puerto Rico. 12 and 0 run. No response from Uruguay. And the head coach from Uruguay, Ruben Mayano. He will be furious with his players at this point. Ten turnovers in total so far. A lot of them happening on that double team action when Batista slips the defenders, the double team, unusually Granger or whoever the guard is in possession. Puerto Rico capitalizing on that moment, picking pockets, making raises, taking it down the other end of the floor and giving praises to the Lord with buckets. Don't forget to download the Courtside 1891 app to stay up to date and in tune with all of the games. There is that moment we just spoke about. The slighted of touches there for Condit on the putback. And there he is, showing his passion, showing his emotion, saying this is his house. No Uruguayans are going to come around here and collect easy dubs. And here's the full court pressure now from Puerto Rico. Rojas. Down low, Batista. Strength. Second chance. Strength. Third chance. Foul is called on the floor. Condit does not like that technical foul call. When passion flares, it can turn into reaction and emotion that the referees don't want to see being displayed. Got to keep his emotions in check here, Condit. Batista, look at this. Stat packing. Looking for a held ball. You're the Puerto Rico players. Condit heads to the bench. Moment to cool down. That's his third personal foul. They can't be. Can't be racking him up like that. Or should I say it's his fourth personal foul? Of course, he was called for the double foul earlier. And Coach Santiago will be able to put him into play without having him risk being out of the game as Batista. Knocks down the first, of course, the foul was called on the floor, but it's team foul trouble in the bonus, Puerto Rico. Second one missed, rebounded by Romero. Here is Fernandez. Steven Thompson Jr. trying to find some room. Mojica. Oh, yes. Javier Mojica. Si, sí, senorita. Aku who? Pressure on the ball now, Fernandez. Uruguay keeping it live, pressure again. What is 
Laukin Rodriguez doing? Dribbling into trap after trap. And the foul is called now, pushing foul. The crowd are not liking this. Hostility. Here at Coliseo, Roberto Clemente. There's a foul here, Romero. Called for that pushing foul. Romero now, his third personal foul. To Marge Parker into the game for the first time. And the first is no good for Alkin Rodriguez. And the second is good. Screen from Ford. Fernandez gets it inside, back to Ford. Tipped around the rim and it's good to go. Parker, instant impact. Open the ball on the way in the bucket. For De Paolo, offensive foul, Batista. Another one on him. This is second personal foul. Puerto Rico a chance to continue this great run of form. Nice hands there. Locked away by Rodriguez. With De Paldo. Hand up. Oh, Rod Rodriguez getting in the way. Batista back to basket, tries to get the pass off, intercepted, red shirts moving forward, three ball off the front of the ring, rebounded by Parker, another one, give me that, crowd on their feet, Aleem Ford takes his tally to seven points, four triples, in the quarter, and another timeout for Uruguay. I would not want to be in that timeout at this moment in time. Puerto Rico running riot here at home. And the crowd are absolutely loving it. It's not really here, this moment in time. What Coach Ruben is saying, but it must be something like, fellas, we got to execute on the offensive side of the floor. Too many mistakes. Too much pressure. Need to be smarter with possession. Look after the basketball. There it is. This triple in the corner here. Game changer. Money. A lean forward. Santiago preparing his men. Four minutes, two seconds remaining, 32 to 26 the score.
And once again, that defensive full court pressure here. Four and four. Let me tell you, Rodriguez just does not look comfortable under pressure. Batista setting another screen. Gets away with it this time, inside. Triple team, almost quadruple team. Kick back out, Fittipaldo for three, and finally breaks the deadlock for Uruguay. Much needed three point play. Too many defenders around Batista there. Same issues they faced in the first quarter on that one play, but they've been magnificent so far in this quarter. But there you go. Oh. Showing off the handle behind the back, over to the right, firing up. Yes, baby, yes. Jared Fernandez lights out. Fittipaldo trying to find room for the shot. Rattles in now, Bautista. Foul is called on the floor here. Foul is called on Parker. Puts his hand up in the air to acknowledge it. The crowd were ready to get onto the refs then. If Park hadn't put his hand up. Here's Fernandez. Hand up in the air, hand in his face. It don't matter. Fernandez makes it count. Substitution. Lavelli to the game. Small Uruguayan presence in the crowd, holding their own little section there. Batista misses the second, rebounded by Parker. Ford. Mendes moves the ball to the wing. Thompson Jr. has been a little bit quiet. Gets it back, steps up. Can't knock down the triple this time. Batista, bounce pass. Rodriguez, right hand side of the floor. Batista, right slot pocket, driving back to basket. Oh, look at the footwork. Get another rebound. Batista again, and a foul is called. Round of applause from the head coach. Beautiful footwork to get the shot off initially. Gets his own rebound. Hard to box out that big man. And substitution now. Big round of applause for Jana Fernandez. Traymond Ward has checked into the game. Fernandez and the guard spot really set the tone in this quarter. Hopefully, Traymond Ward can pick it up from here. Rolls around the ring and Alpha Batista, much to his disappointment. Six points, nine rebounds for Batista so far. But he's no good from the free throw line, two for six. Waters, screen from Parker, does find Parker, back out to Waters. Ford was waiting on the wing. Waters inside, Parker with another rebound. Aaliyah Ford, back of the iron. Parker with yet another rebound. Pulling down the board, seven rebounds for him. In just under four minutes of play. Substitution, Stephen Thompson Jr. heading to the bench. Then Thompson into the game. Parker, another rebound. Give it to him. Hand off. The drive from Ford caught in a trap. And spills possession. Oh, 
Oh, check the cross. Batista. Granger, nice swing through. Finds room for the triple. Rolls in and out. Foul is called. Emiliano Ceres, his second personal reaching over the back. And that means two shots for Ethan Thompson. Substitutions checking in. Aline Ford, brilliant job from him. Iglesias checking in for Uruguay. Jordan Sintron into the game. A six eight small forward. In the up again. So he plies his trade and Thompson converts. And there it is, another steal for Puerto Rico. They keep it alive. Here's Tremont Waters now. Kicked out, triple money. Yes! Ethan Thompson. Five points in 40 seconds. The bench is big time for Puerto Rico. Deep roster, 10 point lead net for them now. The foul is called. Two shots to come for Uruguay. 14 points from turnovers for Uruguay. Sorry, for Puerto Rico, 14 points for turnovers. But it's all of their hard work on the defensive end that is fueling moments like this. Ethan Thompson. Substitution now for Uruguay. Number 33, Kirill Vasman back into the game. Fittipaldo on the free throw line. 33.8 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. There's a famous saying, it's a game of two halves. Well, not really, not in this one. Game of two quarters so far. 12 to 23 first quarter from Uruguay. And in this quarter, Puerto Rico have been phenomenal. 28 to 8. Outscoring Uruguay by 20 points in this quarter. Fittipaldo narrows that down to 19. And a timeout is called. Head coach Santiago has a chance to draw something up here to really solidify the greatness of this Puerto Rico performance in the second quarter. Coach Santiago drawing it up. All the players locked in. Let's see if they can put what he puts on paper into practice. 
Here are those triples from Puerto Rico. Six in this quarter alone. Raining. San Juan. And here we go. Let's see how we get on here. Pass inside the middle forward. Ethan Thompson kicks it out. The triple side of the iron. Uruguay will have the last possession. Granger, double teamed, trying to find room for this shot. Bounce pass, Vidi Paulo, right hand, tipped in by Washman. And that is the end of the half. A brilliant half of basketball from the neutral's perspective. But for Puerto Rico in the lead by six, turning around a poor first quarter performance into an incredible second quarter rally. There's the stats for you. Six for 16 from three point territory. All six of those come in the second quarter, 100% from the free throw line. Five steals, testament to the hard work on the defensive end of the floor. And there are the lead scorers. Stephen Thompson Jr. with 10. Aline Ford with seven. Granger with nine. For Depalda with eight. Let's check out those best plays of the first half. Only two players from Puerto Rico. Aline Ford. Sitting down defenders. Saying two players from Puerto Rico that not yet on the score sheet. Clavel and Sintra. It's only a matter of time. Shows how the spread of the scoring is amongst their team. And here is Uruguay, of course, their commanding performance in the first quarter. Granger was on fire. Finding teammates, making plays. Hey. Four there again, also in the first quarter. Just getting warm, getting loose. And this man, Batista, what about him? Such a presence on the court for Uruguay. As is that man, Granger, once again, pulling up on the triple in the first quarter. Then, it all changed. Thompson Jr. Getting buckets. Lighting the fire on the dynamite for Puerto Rico to explode. And they did just that. These are the moments. The defensive effort. The sharp shooting, Mojica. And the sheer will and determination, Parker has been an absolute monster on the boards. And Ford stepping up at the right moments to make the place. Uruguay just about hanging in there. Trading baskets now and again. There was that beautiful move from Fernandez. Right in his eye. Turnovers. Big problem for Uruguay in that quarter. 12 turnovers overall in the half. And now Thompson, should I say Ethan Thompson getting in on the action. Once again, wherever you're watching all around the world, welcome. Brilliant half of basketball here. At Coliseo Roberto Comente. Who will you become when the moment arrives and you're carrying the expectations of an entire nation, representing your people and their dreams 
The colorful faces in the streets. The screaming fans in the stands. It's time to make your move. All eyes on you. All hope. All heart. Because when you win, you win for all. Golden now looking to post up, gets his pocket picked, and now Puerto Rico have numbers. Pulls up El Sino Aqua, uno más from downtown, and he is just lighting it up right now. While well, Tremont Waters at the moment is just making it rain on the basketball court. Here you can see Tremont Waters, of course, as the key play goes all the way, gets, gets rejected one more time. Well, what a block off the backboard. Jackson thought about taking the three. Trocha takes it, nails it, and all of a sudden it's a four-point ball game as Colombia is start jugando baloncesto. Inside to Ogilvy, screen. Plaskins inside, outside dribble, floater. No, it's not, it's the pass. And Romero with the flush. J.R. Cato, jab step and jump shot is off for the throwdown. Look at that by Kadeem Colby, he's a man possessed for the Bahamas. No box out, big trouble for Panama. Well, it's uh, off the down screen, takes the ball screen. Show goes upstairs for the throwdown. And Brazil will come out the gate here firing. He is setting the screen. Nice little go from Lotelia, but a rejection is good from Vargas. Run now, a few seconds. Oh, Juan's got to force up a helmet. Oh my goodness gracious! Tres puntos, por favor! Gabriel Heron. A pie, look out! Connor Morgan with the thrilling throwdown. And Canada punched their ticket emphatically to the 2023 FIBA World Cup. Now Campana, Bahamas responds, Silvestra, spin. What a block! Get out of here, says Romero. That is emphatic. And they look to reverse back. Oh, great little crossover. Watch out. And one. Super finish. LSA Johnson takes off, takes the contact, throws it down. We'll go to the free throw line for the extra. Well, a warm welcome back to tonight's FIBA World Cup. America's qualifiers. And we'll take a quick look at the highlights from our lead scorers from Uruguay, Mr. Jason Granger. Nine points personally on this one. Quick update for you. USA in the lead against Colombia, 59 to 46. Going into the third quarter, five minutes, 57 remaining. Don't forget, Mexico will be taking on Brazil. 8.30 in their local time. As we watch Mr. Granger go to work. Really pulling it out of the bag in the first quarter. Not really had the chance to get going in the second quarter, which was all about Puerto Rico and their top scorer so far in this game. 
Mr. Stephen Thompson Jr., the catalyst for the comeback. Doing it all, shooting out the lights, getting to the bucket. Ten points, two rebounds for him, two three pointers. And nice finishing around the rim also. Real party atmosphere in the arena. Purpose built for basketball. And very few places around the world have this sort of atmosphere that they can create here. We've got the mascot shooting half court shots at this moment in time trying to keep the crowd entertained well let me tell you it's definitely falling short of what we have seen here this evening nearly all players on the score sheet Clavel and Sintron the only Puerto Rican players not to have any points to their name at this moment in time Tamaj Parker coming off the bench just a five minutes under five minutes 2.7 rebounds, creating second chance opportunities. But as mentioned, it was the defense for Puerto Rico. That was the difference in the second quarter, forcing turnovers. 14 points from those turnovers. And running in transition with 10 points in the fast break. Their bench digging deep, chipping in, 25 points coming in from the players who weren't in the starting five. They've really had to set the tone. Despite the talent that's available for the starting five for Puerto Rico. For Uruguay, it hasn't been good enough. But it's only a six point game and plenty of action coming up for you here in Coliseo Roberto Clemente. Uruguay big on the boards, of course, the main man, Batista. He's been racking it up underneath the rim. He's got six points, nine rebounds, has missed four free throws, which would have been one rebound from a double-double for him but has committed five turnovers on his own. There's some foul trouble over Puerto Rico. George Condit showing great emotion and passion, but has four personal fouls. Israel Romero has three, two fouls for Fernandez and Christopher Ortiz. They'll have to keep an eye on that to ensure it doesn't get out of hand. They are to win tonight's match. As the teams are taking part in their final warm-ups before we get this second half underway. Don't forget, let us know your thoughts. Hashtag FIBA WC. Wherever you're tuned in around the world, this is the place to be. We're seeing it all. So don't go anywhere, tell a friend to tell a friend, courtside 1891. That's where you can catch all of the live action. The FIBA World Cup Americas qualifiers, as we see the coaches conversating, decision-making, thinking about how to approach this next half of the match. Well, for Uruguay, they'll be looking to start this quarter with a bang to get this game back on level terms. And Coach Santiago has called his players back to the bench nice and early 
to get that conversation started and start drawing up all of his ideas. Our head coach Magnano get Ranger open using the wit and skill of Fittipaldo as well. And once again, you can keep up to date with all the information, not only about Courtside 1891, but also by the World Cup qualifiers app. Make sure you pick that up. All at the end of your fingertips. As the starting fives throwing off their warm-up tops, ready to get back to the action. Great to see how locked in these players are when Coach Santiago is talking. Really respect their head coach, listening and implementing his feedback and advice, and it served them well. Referee, ball in hand. Let's get this one back in a way. Colosio Roberto Clemente, home of Puerto Rico, San Juan. And they welcome Uruguay. Here we go. Uruguay possession, and they get the ball in to Granger. Corner shot, wide open, kept into play, into the hands of Ford, and now here's Tremont Waters. Ortiz, hands it up to Clavel. Double teamed, and a foul is called. I think Lavelle's made a little bit of a meal out of that. <laughs> Batista is called for another foul. That's his third personal. Not one who wanted early on here in the third quarter. I still can't believe that that man <laughs> is 39 years of age. Ball into play. Ortiz hands it off to Waters. Nice hesitation from Waters, blocked underneath the rim. That's out of bounds, in fact. It's last. Off a player in red. Uruguay get it back. Granger. Spills possession. Oh, I was pretty sure that was a Puerto Rico ball, but Uruguay will get it. Definitely had better offenses from Uruguay run with Fittipaldo in possession of the ball. Ranger. Two turnovers so far in this game. Corner, Iglesias. Offensive rebound. Offensive foul call. Oh, and a little bit of fisticuffs. You don't want to see it get two physical fellas. Washman hands up in the air. Staring down his opponent.
and referee's going to have a discussion here and send the teams to the benches to clear up what's happening. Should mic these referees up, want to know what they're saying, what they're talking about. Here we go. Foul is called. Offensive foul called. Vashman. And the referees are also going to review the play just to make sure that they are calling the right action. Here, and they'll look to see, was there a hold there also? Gian Clavel. Let's have a look here. And there's a lock of arms. Both trying to make a play for the ball, but... Referees are going to try and decipher what's happened. Did he pull his arm here? Is that what they're looking for? Is it a pull on the arm? Let's have a look here. No particularly a great angle for this, but there it is. Is he being held? Watchman. still in discussion important they make the right call when the game is as close as and as intense as this and sportsman like foul call Christopher Ortiz. I don't think it was Ortiz that was caught up in that. So I'm not sure the foul was called on the right person there. It was Clavel who was tangled up with him. I'm not quite sure what's happened there. Maybe the referee's a little wiser than I am. Washman. Takes it to a five-point game. Well, already so much has happened here in this first minute, just over in the third quarter. Rodriguez keeps the ball alive, top angle on the shot. Tip back out to Granger. Granger driving, rolls around the ring, rebounded by Ford. Opposite end of the floor, foul is called. Ismail Romero. <laughs> Another foul called on Kieran Washman. Romero now on the line. Second rebounded by Granger. Fittipaldo, he'll pull the trigger. Another rebound by Ford. Blindish trade of the Lakeland Magic. 
Trayvon Waters turns on the burners. Romero with the hammer. Trayvon Waters, special delivery. Romero likes the package he received. Foul is called. Romero signaling there was a flop to Granger. There's his hammer throwdown. Punching one on the ribs in San Juan. Romero will head to the bench as he racks up yet another personal foul. That's his fourth. And Parker checks into the game. Not a bad replacement, Parker. He's been big on the boards tonight. Iglesias, catch, shoot, no good. Waters. Pass Rodriguez, Tremont Waters all the way. Parker can't complete the play. Granger, oh, see you later. Fittipaldo. Big skip across, Rodriguez wide open, can't make it. Iglesias, rebound, can't finish. Uruguay need to put the ball in the bucket. Failing to do that at this moment in time, they're having the opportunity. Foul is called. Rodriguez hanging on the hip of Aline Ford. Very stop start third quarter. Waters to the spin. Parker rebound and the finish. Dimash Parker. Granger splits the defense, knocked away from his possession, pushing forward now. Ortiz, Eurostep, right hand for two. The buzzer will sound. The crowd goes crazy. Uruguay need to talk it over. Only one point so far in this quarter for Uruguay, and that came from the free throw line after the unsportsmanlike foul from the referees claiming 32, Christopher Ortiz. Granger throwing down the board there. Uruguay are finding their shots. They simply are not making them. Now six for 18 from behind the arc. 30% overall from the field. Don't forget to scan the QR code for live stats and more. That Euro step finish for Ortiz, forcing the hand of the head coach of Uruguay to call the timeout. Six minutes 30 remaining here in the third quarter. 12 point lead for Puerto Rico. Look at this. Defensive intensity. Not safe to dribble the ball anywhere. Fittipaldo just trying to shake of Ortiz, he just can't do it, has to fire it up to be the buzzer. Shot clock buzzer sounds. Ford. Yeah. 
Waters. Spins away, pulls up for three. Washman setting the screen for Granger going downhill. Granger for another two points, takes his tally to double digits, 11 points personal. Ball rotation. Waters. Ford. Over the top of the baseline and almost gets the and one call. Foul is called though. Washman claiming the innocence. Both hands in the air. And that will be Washman's third personal foul. Yalkin Osimani into the game for the first time. Uruguay now the ones also in foul trouble. Have to dig deep to their roster. Call upon another veteran, 35 year old. Yankee Nasimani. Batista is also back into the game. Ranger, ball rotation. Iglesias inside. Batista finds the pass. And it's finished at the rim by Osimani. Apologies. Not Iglesias, Yankee Nasimani. Ian Thompson Jr. is back into the game. Waters, a lean forward for three. Money! A lean forward. Lights out. 12 points, four rebounds for him. Granger, step back, fade away. Forced to take the shot. Waters. Transition. Parker with another rebound. Intercepted. Baseline drive, kick to the corner, Rodriguez going over the top, next pass, there it is, the reverse, and it's good. Serres for two. Ford gets the screen to Waters, back door cut. Finishes at the rim. Zero help defense. And there's the punishment. Granger driving strong up and under. Foul is called on his way to the glass. Substitution. Our apologies, no substitution foul call on Aleem Ford. Granger misses the first free throw. Makes the second. Waters to the wing. 
Now up top with Ford. Waters on the handoff. Going downhill. Turns it over. Uruguay get it back. Crowd calling for a foul on the handoff here. Waters going downhill. Trips over, slips. Ball bounces away. But there's the interception. Thompson Jr. spinning towards back to basket and the finish. Reignited. The offense for Puerto Rico. 12 points for him now. Batista against Parker. Eating underneath the bucket. Coach Ruben might as well be on the court no matter of times he's been on it. Ranger. Double teamed again. Can he find a pass? Yes, he can. Ceres hands it off. Batista, the smart play there from Uruguay. And now a timeout called by Puerto Rico. Just to slow things down. As Uruguay rally back into this game. Ten points the difference. Let's hear from Coach Santiago. Coach Santiago drawing something up. Talking about the defensive end. It's after the double team. If Uruguay maintain possession, how do they then recover to ensure they are accumulating stops? Waters. Step back triple. Money! Draymond Waters. Shaking off the defender. Lighting it up. Batista. Backing down Parker. Back out. Baseline drive inside. Beautiful pass from Fittipaldo. And there'll be a warning given there to Batista. Second time he's punched the ball away after it goes through the hoop after his make. Mojica checking in. Lavelle heads to the bench. Still no points for Lavelle. Waters again for another triple! Back to back for him. Batista, double teamed. Travel violation call. 
hand on mouth expression. Parker giggling alongside of him. There's that three from Waters. Santiago punching the air. Ball into play. Waters again. Mojica hunting for that screen. Ortiz coming to set it. Goes away from it. Waters sends him home. Says... That'll do, 61 to 48. 13 point game. A much more hotly contested third quarter, but it's Puerto Rico with the edge. 21 to 14. As soon as they got warm and back into the game from the second quarter, they've not looked back. 10 for 17 from the free throw line for Uruguay. They've missed out on seven points from the free throw line. Which makes all the difference in games like this. Let's take a look at the best plays from the third quarter. Nice reverse there from Ceres. Waters getting his quarter going. He's been great for Puerto Rico in this quarter. Once again, the defensive intensity rewarding Puerto Rico on offense. Batista has been bullying it in the paint. Finding him off the baseline drives. But then upstairs. Tremo Waters, which was a long two, the first one. Once again, beautiful pass from Fittipaldo to find Batista. And there's that triple. Yes, Uruguay make their way back onto the floor for the fourth and final quarter. Scan the QR code now. Stay up to date, courtside 1891 stream schedules and scores. All you're gonna do, scan the QR code on the screen. Huge effort required from Uruguay. Of course, they took victory in the last game against these two teams. But it's advantage Puerto Rico. Here on home territory in San Juan, the Coliseo Roberto Clemente. As the ball is ready to be inbounded, and it's a Puerto Rico possession. Fernandez. Gets it straight back off Mejica. Hernandez fade away on the baseline, comes off the glass into the hands of Batista. Who's now, I believe, on a double-double, 12 points, 10 rebounds. Corner three, no good. Very lackluster three-point shooting from Uruguay. Ever since the first quarter. Thompson Jr., he's got room. Big rebound. Back into the game is George Conde. He was on four personal fouls. Ortiz now applying the pressure to Granger. Batista tries to keep it alive and knocked away, deflected away by Steven Thompson Jr. Uruguay ball on the baseline. Fittipaldo. 
Left hand side, re screen from Batista. Skipped across to Granger, he'll pull up for three. He can't get one to go. Ortiz knocks it away to the hands of Thompson Jr. Fernandez calls for the screen. The foul is called. Condit powering his way to the bucket. Iglesias calling for the foul. Right on the arm there, hard foul. This is the first. Only the second free throw that's been missed this evening from Puerto Rico. Can't get the second either. Vitipaldo. Batista again. That pass, who knows where that was going. Much to the delight of the home crowd. Ortiz, watch out! Drive it to the left, rearrange. Fittipaldo, Iglesias hands it off to Granger. Granger, one on one, fade away, no good. Four shot from Granger. Mahika, Thompson Jr., Ortiz. Batista. Clear out the paint, the double team finds the room off the glass finish. Mm -hmm. Ortiz can open. 3 2 zone here. Travel violation called. Uruguay get it back. Condit. Substitution. Smile Romero in. Condit heads to the bench. Tremont Waters check back in. It's always tough after getting in foul trouble to then have to come into the game after sitting down for so long. Condit has not been able to get himself going. Beginning of this fourth and final quarter. What a pass from Batista. Foul is called. Foul is called to Stephen Thompson Jr. His first personal. Batista hands it off. Fittipaldo, he's got room to shoot. Batista moving all over that screen. Ball rotation, three ball, can it go? No! Still, the nightmare from behind the arc continues. For Uruguay, oh! Behind the back, bye-bye! Adios! Chamon Waters. Mojica. Waters tips it back to Mojica. In the corner, Ortiz on the baseline. It's good. Smooth left butter. Crowd bringing. 
the noise. Horn's action. Granger intercepted by Romero. Offensive foul is called. Granger hits the deck. And I think that will be it for Romero. His fifth and final foul. To just step him back into the game. Parker steps on the floor. And you know what? You can't be mad at that because Tamaj Parker has definitely put himself about on this court today. 11 rebounds, four points. Fittipaldo scores the ball at ease there. Taking his tally to 10 points. Halfway to go here in the fourth and final quarter. Wide open. Where is the defense from Uruguay? Javier Mojica letting it fly. Fittipaldo can't connect with Batista. Never throw it to the big man's feet. And that will be a moment of respite. Timeout is called by Uruguay. 69 to 52. It just looks like from the body language that Uruguay know that this game is a little bit out of their reach, especially when not only are Puerto Rico fighting against the odds in terms of fouls and starting players' performance, their bench is performing. And as always, the sixth man in the stand in San Juan are making their voices heard and making a difference. Ortiz, corner triple. And then Mojica, wide open in the corner. Give me that all day long. Fourteen points, twelve rebounds for the big man from Uruguay, Esteban Batista. Has been a problem for the Puerto Rican defense. And we get the game back underway. Hashtag Fever WC. Let us know your thoughts. Are you enjoying tonight's game? Like, share, watch all the highlights. Parker sets the screen for Waters. Turns and unable to find a teammate. Granger riding high. Tries to go around, Waters and the foul is called. <laughs> Checking into the game. Jan Clavel. Checks back into the game.
Batista. Backing down Parker. Double team. And the finish. That's the main problem with Parker being on the floor. Whilst he's putting on the work on the boards. Batista is just way too strong for him. Ravel still can't get his first points of the game. Fittipaldo skips it across, three ball. Batista, another one. How many and the foul? That's another two rebounds to his tally. And a chance at another two points from the free throw line. Ortiz called for that foul. And Batista misses yet another free throw. Makes the second. Much needed. Waters. Parker dives towards the basket, intercepted now. Granger. What can he pull out of his bag? And one, he can pull that out of his bag. Drive it to the left. Takes the contact, gets the finish. And now has a chance to bring this game back to a 10 point difference. Turned in the corner and Clavel, Clavel swiping above his head. And there it is. The right Uruguay off yet. We may yet have a tough finish. They've only got one team foul. Puerto Rico are in the bonus. This is all set up for an upset here. Waters. Stop, stop, drive. No finish, knocked away, Uruguay ball on the baseline. Big play for Uruguay. Mojica well, heads to the bench. A lean forward, checking back in. Brilliant game from Ford. Parker also headed to the bench. Condit back in. Try and stop the efforts of Batista. Big man Condit on the task of guarding him. Simani. Nice ball rotation here from Uruguay. Back to basket. Batista. The ball fake. Block by Ortiz. Granger. Back of the iron and rebounded. Uruguay really needed to make a play there. And Puerto Rico score now. And this place is going to erupt. And there it is. Tremont Waters. His 11th point of the game. Three ball. Finally, Uruguay get a point on the board from behind the arm. Iglesias. His third three of the game. Nine points the difference. Foul is called, no basket. 
Uruguay with fouls to give. They have every opportunity to slow Puerto Rico down without a commit of committing a foul in the act of shooting. Stop the clock, make them earn every single yard on the court. Waters loses the defender, floats it over. Good for two. Granger. Out to Iglesias, can he make another? No, he can't, Batista can get a rebound though. And a finish. And a technical foul has been given to Batista. He knocks the ball away again. He has been warned. We know the tactic. He's feeling tired out there, knock it away. And I can breathe a bit. They missed the freebie. Nine point game, one minute remaining. We've seen it happen before. This should be a Puerto Rico win. But Uruguay, if they can pull it out of the hat, Waters foul is called. Dipaldo called for the contact. Waters. To take this to an 11 point game. Does just that. Timeout called by head coach Ruben Manana. What can they do in this 49.5 seconds? It would require some effort from them. Uruguay leading the quarter 13 to 15. But after the hard work done in the second and the third, Puerto Rico could be home and dry. It's been a terrible night from behind the arc for Uruguay, seven for 24. The baby shot ringing out around the arena. Not quite sure about the DJ's choice of music here. Well, hey, maybe that's how they do it in San Juan. Final instructions to his team, Nelson Edgardo Colon Santiago. And his assistants, Carlos Francisco Gonzalez. Rafael Cruz Lopez. Coach Maniano opts to advance the ball. 
14 on the shot clock. They need a quick shot, an open shot, a three ball. That would be ideal. Batista, Fittipaldo, pin down, Granger. The defense gets there. Granger, ball fake. Batista wasted way too much time. And that's a big rebound from Condit. And that will be all that they wrote. The fans here in Puerto Rico. Up onto their feet. Granger, reverse to the left. Nice move. And a timeout called by head coach Santiago. So he has the chance to advance the ball now or keep it in his own half. As I'm sure they'll be looking to run down that clock. 20.6 seconds remaining. Hopefully we can listen in now to what coach has got to say. Exactly as I predicted. Run the clock down. Look after the ball. See if you can draw the foul. And they will keep it in there, half of the court. Full court pressure from Uruguay. They'll look to make a quick steal here. Let's see what happens. Long pass ahead. Tremor Waters and a foul is called. As he hits the deck. His teammates come to check in on him. Ortiz bumps him out of the way. Magnano. Pushing for something to be called there. Talking to the referee, telling him off. Right in his grill. Don't forget, we've got the coach's challenge. He could ask for that and ask for the call to be reviewed. And there is the signal. He's going to call for it. And there it is, the signal for the coaches. Challenge, head coach of each team has one head coach challenge per game, regardless of whether the challenge is successful or not. And as you can see, the referee signals the shape of a rectangle replicating a screen. So the referees will check it out and make a decision. I think they're looking for an unsportsmanlike foul here from Ortiz, there really wasn't much in it at all. But coach has asked, uses challenge 19.6 seconds left in the fourth and final quarter. Let's see what the officials think of this. Long pass to Tremont Waters. 
His teammates surround him to help pick him up. Ross Waters is on the floor. And then we're looking at the moment. Granger, for some reason, is, is kind of talking to the referee in between. He's quite close to Waters. He's got one foot either side of his right leg whilst he's on the floor. And then look at this. Ortiz kind of bumps him. Granger reacts. Manana doesn't like it. Starts pointing the finger. And that is what the referees have to decide. A decision on. Let's see what they call here. Two shots for Waters. And that's it. Coach's challenge unsuccessful. Mojica, we'll check it to the game. Condit will take a breather until the end of this contest. with the first. And the second. Surely this is now out of Uruguay's reach. They've got to get some really quick shots up here. And it doesn't look like they're going to get it. Granger, step back, no good. Who's pulling this one? Foul is called. And there'll be now three free throws. Fittipaldo will go to the line. That stat I gave you earlier, the last three times. These teams have met single-digit games. And he's got a chance to make that happen. There's a first. Bruno Fittipaldo, 31-year-old point guard. Blind is Trey for Leno Lenovo, Tenerife. Two for two, can he make it three for three? Make this an eight-point game. Yes, he can. Is there a timeout call? There is a timeout call. As head coach Santiago will draw something else up to get the ball in safely and see his team take victory at home for what will be nine out of ten matches in San Juan or in Puerto Rico on home soil, where they will remain victorious. Right then.
advancing possession this time Puerto Rico they'll get the ball in and you can expect a foul here from Uruguay to stop the clock as if they could get the ball in here quick foul no waters this is it this is it this is it this is game and now we go puerto rico are victorious in san juan and the coliseo roberto clemente remains a fortress a 76 to 68 victory brilliant game of basketball Uruguay tried at the end, too little, too late. Puerto Rico are the winners. That will give them some hope in these World Cup qualifiers. As the team huddle in the center of the floor, Brilliant performance from everybody in that team, from the bench to the starters. They all contributed as they clapped the fans. Brilliant crowd. Puerto Rico, there's the stats for you. Ugly seven for 24 from three-point territory for Uruguay. Hit by the three, die by the three. But it was, of course, the defensive intensity from Puerto Rico that gave them the victory. Locked in, executed the defensive plan, and reaped the rewards. a brilliant evening of basketball first quarter score 12 to 23 second quarter score 28 to 11 third quarter 21 to 14 fourth and final quarter 15 to 20 in favor of uruguay and let's look at the top plays of the second half batista and his way inside the paint finished with 19 points 16 rebounds, three assists, but seven turnovers out of the 19 turnovers Uruguay committed on the night. Tremont Waters found his feet in the second half, 17 points, six assists for him on the evening. Steven Thompson Jr. also making his presence known. 12 points, four rebounds, two steals. Out of the nine steals on the night. With the eight steals on the night for Puerto Rico. Waters scoring in a variety of ways. As Uruguay tried to feed the big man. Of course, got that technical foul for knocking the ball away. Ortiz getting in on the action as well. Ortiz finishes with 11 points and two rebounds. And a three for his troubles. Vittipaldo tried to assert himself on the game, finished up with 13 points. And Granger, a little bit frustrating for him. He finishes up on 17.6 rebounds. Four assists, two steals. A 
as mentioned, him, Fittipaldo, and Batista combining for a total of 12 turnovers. There's a score from USA Colombia, 88 to 81. USA hold on and take the victory. Coming up next on the basketball schedule list, Mexico, Brazil. Let's take a look at the standings. Puerto Rico jump up to second. And the Mexico-Brazil game. We'll find out who will be the victor in that one. 8.30 p.m. local time. Make sure you are tuned in. The FIBA World Cup America's qualifiers. You don't want to miss all the action live on 18.91 on a court side. But for now, we wish you all the most pleasant of evenings. Puerto Rico, defensive dominance and offensive execution. They remain with the win.